I bring you greetings from the people of the Marshall Islands, every man, woman, and child. We are the very close friends of the United States in the Pacific. We have been your allies in the Pacific since World War II. The Marshall Islands are at the edge of climate change impact right now. Our islands stand merely six feet above sea level. And although we have nothing to do with the pollution of the atmosphere, although we have nothing to do with poisoning of carbon dioxide and all of those things that cause climate change, we are one of the five most vulnerable countries in the world. We are already feeling the effects of climate change. We have high tides, we have droughts, we have people being displaced from their homelands because of the rising seas. We came here to New York to bring our story to our friends in the United States, to share it with you so that during the march, you can also share with the others who are here. There is no benefit to the world if we save it from climate change, but allow nuclear weapons to wipe us out. So we cannot separate one from the other. We must fight for climate justice, but we must also fight for nuclear justice, because one without the other is not sufficient to guarantee a safe and peaceful world for our children, our grandchildren, and our great-grandchildren. Thank you very much. Thank you, Tony DeBrome, Prime Minister of the Marshall Islands.